you're back once again with another video on the channel. What I'm going to be doing today is unboxing and reviewing the Blue Yeti Nano. Uh, just wanted to let y'all know to keep in mind that this voiceover is going to be recorded on the Blue Yeti Nano. So you go ahead and judge the mic quality, sound quality, whatever you want to call it. So let's go ahead and jump into this uh, this unboxing review. I do want to say this might cost around $108 with taxes at Walmart. That's where I got it from. But let's jump into this review. So what we got here is we're going to be uh, looking at the box here real quick. We're going to spin it around and then open up the top. Did want to say the box did not come damaged. It's just the way I opened it when I first got the box. So what you're going to see as you open the box is it's going to be a box in a box. You're going to pull the box that's in the box out of the box. Set that to the side or throw it off the dresser. It doesn't matter. You're going to lay it on the side, open up the top. First thing you're going to see is the safety instructions and the setup guide. And here we are picking up the setup guide here. Just showing you which the correct way is to talk into it and the way you plug it in. Or no, on the back it's going to be uh, the correct way to plug it in and what the unmute button does and what it... Just going through uh, the steps on setting it up and what it does. Here we have the power cord. It's actually going to be a standard Android cord. So there it is, taped up. Definitely not me taping it up like that. But uh, let's go ahead and set that to the side. You'll then see some foam on top of it. And then you'll see the Blue Yeti Nano itself. Pick up the power cord once again and go ahead and take the tape off of it. Don't mind the mic or the mic, the vacuum going in the background. But I did want to say this power cord is at least four to six feet long, maybe five feet, not sure, but it's a very decently long cord, so you can be as far as you want away from your PC or uh, your computer or your Xbox, PlayStation, whatever you're using this mic for. You can be a decently distance away from it. There's the mic it is itself in the top right corner that's going to be your um that's going to be your boom arm extender extend fuck that's going to be your boom arm adapter that's what that's called sorry for the glare on the camera i did have my flashlight on because uh, i need a better lighting but that's going to be your uh boom arm adapter set that to the side grab the box again and go ahead and pull out the mic itself gonna have a little foam before it's gonna have a little foam on the stand and the mic just to protect it as it goes through shipping and stuff on the bottom you're gonna see your boom armor extension your power cord and your audio output flip it upside down right take the foam out kick it to the side and there the mic is itself throw the box to the side and uh, see what else we got here so as you'll see is the volume knob and the mute knob. So first things first, that mute knob, all you got to do is push it in once. It'll mute and it'll turn red. When it's green, that means it's unmuted and uh, you'll be able to talk into it. You can also turn it left. Turning it left will turn it down. Turning it right will turn it up. Here's the back. The back is going to be your cardioid and your omnidirectional. Push it once each time and it'll switch to whatever mode you'd like. My opinion, car or uh, omnidirect, no. Um, yeah, omnidirectional sounds a little get a little bit bad to me uh and cardioid sounds better to me here on the right and left side you'll have knobs to take it off and put it on your boom arm which is absolutely fine it's what i'm doing right now as i'm recording this and that's what we're going to do right now it's going to go ahead and show you the receipt here this might cost around 108 dollars and 85 cents including tax uh the tax was actually nine dollars so originally it's uh it's a hundred dollars but what we're going to do now is go to take off the left and right knobs and we're going to go ahead and show you how to put it onto your boom arm if you have one. If you don't have one, it's fine. You can just go ahead and keep it on the little stand it comes on. And once again, do not mind the vacuum going in the background or the kids.
You may or may not have a little trouble like I did, but that's absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. Uh, but sooner or later, it'll come off here. Don't break your mic like I'm trying to do. You just go ahead and twist it sideways. Twist it sideways and then pull it out. Then you'll have your mic adapter. I believe it's a quarter inch or a half inch uh, threading. And then you just go ahead and uh, turn it to the right and tighten it down in there until it stops. And that's what we're gonna do right here. Don't mind the kid in the background. As soon as, it get, as soon as it gets tight, do not try to tighten it anymore. Uh, don't strip your threading. Now let's just go ahead and go over to your boom arm. Tighten it down, tighten it down onto that threading. And uh, just keep on tightening. Don't mind my chair, it's a little ripped. But uh, there you go. On the back, you can see where you can switch between omnidirectional and cardioid. There on the front, there's your volume knob and your mute. It's going to be a USB plug that you're going to plug on to your PC, computer, Xbox, PlayStation, whatever you're going to be using. In this case, I'm going to plug it into my PC. I'm going to go ahead and power the PC on. And now I'm going to show you guys what the microphone sounds like with no edits, no sound modding or whatever you want to call it. But let's go ahead and jump into that right now. So now we're going to go ahead and go through the mic test, mic review, whatever you want to call it, uh, with no, with no, uh, with nothing on it, no voice modding or anything. All it has on it is a pop filter and my phone's in front of me. That's why I sound a little muffled, but, uh, I'm going to start recording on my phone now. So what this button does here is it's, it's basically just going to mute it. Press it again. It's going to unmute it. Now, if you turn the knob to the left, it'll go down You turn it back to the right the volume will go back up. Now I'm going to spin the mic around. I'm going to sound a little bit different. I am in cardioid mode, so you'll know what it sounds like if you get a little farther away from your mic, behind the mic, whatever you're doing. But if you get behind the mic, this is what it's going to sound like. So as we're behind the microphone, I'm going to go ahead and show you what, show you the difference between cardioid and omnidirectional. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to omnidirectional. So now that we're on omnidirectional, I sound like I'm in front of the mic but I'm actually behind the mic. Now that we're behind the mic, I'm gonna show you what happens if you hold this button. So basically when you hold this button, you will then not hear your, your voice monitor. So you will not hear yourself, uh, you won't hear yourself pretty much when you hold the button. Now if you hold it again, your mic monitor will come back on and you'll be able to hear yourself. So once you press this again, you'll switch back over to cardioid and you will then have to move in front of your mic to hear yourself crystal clear. So, now what we're going to do is go ahead and stop this. And basically, now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to go through a little p -p sound with the pop filter on and the difference with the pop filter off. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, say something with a P. Let's see. Peanuts, peanuts. Take the pop filter off. Peanuts, peanuts. Peanuts, peanuts. So, basically, um,. There's, there's no really, there's not a big difference between the pop filter being off and on, whether you get, depending on your distance from the microphone. Say you're, if you're uh, this far and you're saying stuff with the hard P, hard C, you're not going to hear the big peaks and pops. But if you get about this close and you say peanuts, peanuts, you're going to hear the pops and peaks. So if you're going to be about that close to your mic and want a pop filter, so it sounds a little bit more clear than it would when you're this close saying peanuts peanuts even with a pop filter on you can still hear the peaks when I say something with a higher velocity of a word so basically if you're gonna be about this close to your mic just make sure you get a pop filter and you're not gonna be talking as loud as you would be as if you were this far away from the mic and this is probably my spot about as far away from my, as far as I am usually away from the mic so hopefully this helped with the review on what you wanted to know about the mic Thanks for watching guys, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all on the next video. Also, let me know if you want to do a comparison or another review on the JLab Talk Go, the link 
or not the link but the name of that like will be in the description if you guys want me to do a comparison let me know anyway thanks for watching guys like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one take care